I always wanted to be in Manchester. The Northern people is the capital of the North and I think it's only getting better. got a lot of different things in different places. You can go and eat nice food, go to restaurants and bars. Let's go to Tattoo, a nice Asian uh, restaurant that we can eat out there. Been there numerous times, food really good. If you eat pork, the pork belly there is out of this world. But it's also got a culture aspect where you can go and see certain things. It's a brilliant city. Hi, how are you, you okay? Hi yeah, guys, yeah. Um, I'm looking for some Northern Soul. Okay, we've got some LPs too. Oh, lovely. So you can look through those. I'll have a flip then, through, see right. if anything jumps out at me. This is quite a good compilation. It came out for Record Store Day last year. The greatest hits of Northern Soul. For me, it was a big thing growing up and it was a time where my mum and dad, for me, looked the happiest together. You know, dancing in the kitchen. And Dad would normally sit there with a glass of wine. My mum would probably just be dancing. That was their happy time. I think together spending time, enjoying something that they both liked. I've really wanted to do it for a long time now. Set up a studio, you know, get people in. Not really produce or to get a record label or anything like that, but set up a nice studio and ask people if they would like to come and perform in my studio. Now, the UK, we'll call it grime scene, is definitely on the up. The likes of Skeptors put a lot of people on the map. Obviously Storms in now, doing things that I don't think he thought he'd get to. Bugsy Malone, who's from Manchester, had a great fire in the booth. I'm not sure his bat is a tyre, uh, something that Bernardo Silva would wear. Could see Bernardo in that, minus the hair, with that and everything. And the drink, of course, a bottle of water there. That's John Stones when, <laughs> when John's a little bit older. Um, if John's beard grows, finally, which he's been trying to grow for a while. Definitely visit the Northern Quarters, you know, take a coffee, see the nice shops, the cool shops, you know, the graffiti and, you know, the beautiful things around here. Then we're going to move on to the Etihad. Watch a good game of football, Manchester City winning in Champions League. dressing room. Obviously you can see all the shirts up and where the players sit. I think it's important for it to be circular. You know, from here you see everything, you see the big picture, you see your teammates. It's a great way to feel as a family rather than individuals. You look around and everyone's so different. You have Nico or Leroy, they're probably in the mirror, doing their or looking at himself. Then you've got Dino, who's, he's very vocal. He'll be jeering us up, you know, getting us ready for the game and what's about to happen when we go onto the pitch. Normally, I, I sit here and I have a masseur that I work with, you know, on a daily basis. He'll get me a coffee, which I normally have before the game. And I put my music on. I try and just get in the zone, really. There was a guy from Sheffield United, a right back. He gave me a shin pad. I think I was around about 16, 17. When he gave them me, I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep them. And, you know, it's a gift from my favourite player, who was Del Geary at the time. They're just like these little white things. I mean, they're so battered at the minute. I can't chuck them. They mean something to me. And I feel like every piece of the jigsaw is who I am today. And that's a, that's a piece. This is the you know, the tunnel before we go out and perform, you know, to the fans and hopefully get the victory. You normally pick up your mascot that's really buzzing, excited or sometimes nervous. So I always try and comfort them and, you know, make sure they're all right, make sure they've had a good time. You know, they enjoyed the experience in coming here. And then as soon as I do that, it's onto the pitch. The winning feeling is, it's addictive. I've been very fortunate that I've came here and won a lot of things in, you know, the, the first two years. It's incredible. And that feeling of you lifting and, you know, singing Champions, it's brilliant. So you've seen Manchester with me. When you come to Manchester, you're guaranteed to have great city, great people, great football. So come and enjoy.